Greetings and salutations, vault dwellers. We are here to do the thing. Camp ratings. Yes. We're rating bad camps or good camps. We're just rating camps badly. Um, and, uh... Let, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know. I got a comment. It was like really kind of kind of random. Ooh, listen, listen. We're gonna do the comment really quick. It, it, it was kind of interesting. It says, "So basically, you don't like simple, functional camps." You gotta be kidding me. Listen, there is there is a method to the whole madness, right? See, you can't if, if you're gonna rate camps, you, you have to rate them like all of them. Like, you can't just, like, look at the, the good ones and be like, Oh, that's great. That's that's amazing. That's, like, a 10 out of 10. Um, uh, that, that, that's not the truth all the, all the time. Like, you can have some really good camps, but they can be, like, a 7. You know? A 7, 8, or 9. Or a 10. But, uh, you have to know what a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 camp is. In order to know what a six, seven, eight, nine, ten camp is, you know what I'm saying? Why is this door locked? He, he really doesn't want people going in there. Well, that—that's a letdown. I really wanted to go in there. Oh my God! They actually—they actually have a decorated porta potty. This person's actually pretty cool. Other than locking their stuff up. Let's see if we can get get in there somehow. There's no way to get... Oh, wait. I mean, we can look at the stuff from here. I don't really want to break in, break in. But I, I do kind of want to break in. I don't think we can. Hmm. It is quite the dingy ramshackle shack. But the decorations really do give a lot to it listen normally i'm like oh it doesn't have wallpaper it doesn't have this it doesn't have that but this is this is supposed to be this dingy but see look you have all the decorations here you have decorations all over the place you could turn right here look this is in this in, in this one frame this one frame you have like one two three four like four five I, Five items. If you count these, it's six, seven, eight items in one frame. And it really does change the name of the game. You got overlapping stickers, which is kind of kind of interesting. It's just overlapping stickers, which is this is fine. But uh, you also got s s more than more than just like farming equipment in in here. You have like look, it's another whole sequence of like. A bunch of items put together that look actually aesthetically pleasing even though the architecture is well god-awful but that that that's okay is this a is this a little beaver dam if I gather the logs will look like that's that's actually interesting I never really paid much attention to that um, what, what else what else what else can we get over through here and take a look what else is in here? Oh, look at this. They, they even got the... Ooh, you can barely see it, but... Look, every single part of this place actually has something going on. Look at that. Yeah. So, even, even though this stuff is, like, not that great, like, it's the basic wood and stuff like that, it looks quite the amazing. It really does. And it's, it's, a, it's a troll camp. Most, most definitely a troll camp because they're living under a bridge. <laughs> but their stuff is locked, which is really just annoying to me. Look, what is, oh, look at that. They even got like a little TV room. And a fan. <laughs> this is actually a good camp with, like, it actually has everything. It has more than everything it has decorations and I'm willing to give this in, in its in its entirety even though it's locked and we can't like get a good look at things but just like uh, stalking the outside this this is this is damn well like near maybe a seven believe it or not 
You, you don't have to believe it or not, but uh, and that's 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 the thing. This is a very simplistic looking camp until you start looking at all the extra added bonuses and goodies. It, it, look, their razor grain is like right there in front of their door, and it looks like well, look, it, it just looks like overgrown front yard okay and that's kind of funny but it's also very very nice i don't know i'm good i, I really want to give this a six to a seven to be completely honest um because it, it just has that that nice aesthetic to it and it also has some weirdo in it in their front yard wearing a fruit hat and Christmas clothes. Off to the next camp. And here we go. Oh, whoa. Here here we absolutely go. It's just more stuff just popping popping in. But we're at the next camp. And uh let's see. It has walls around. Oh jeez, it's absolutely walled up. Nice. I, I do I do like the walled camps. Look, you even got like something in front of the door right there. Okay, okay. Let's, let's run around and find the entrance. You have to have an entrance if you have have it walled up like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get that wood. All right, so it does not have an actual entrance to its its walled machinations, unless. No. Could there be like one of the... You know what, I'm just jumping. Jump, jumping onto the ship. Alright, you got a nice foundation for the actual courtyard. Uh, but then we have nothing but prefabs, which I guess is... Might be okay, might not be okay. We, we're just gonna have to find out. Uh, we got the symptomatic machine alongside the dingle hopper. I guess they're using this as, as walls as well. Okay. Bunch of crystal, crystalline wall structure. And get your honey right through there. Uh... And they filled up the middle with a, a fish tank. That's pretty cool. Hmm. What's in here? Definitely got their game room set up. And even though it's a prefab, at least they themed it. They themed it well, in there at least. Uh, the all-you-can-craft all buffet in here, which is usually in these Red Rocket things. So it's pretty, pretty standard, I guess. And I guess they're doing shop over through here. Now, they have completely blocked this part off. So I'm willing to bet there's nothing up here. Oh, but yet I am wrong. Wow, oh, they got this looking, they got a gorilla looking out. Okay, they got a gorilla lookout. Oh, for Vixen. V for Vixen. For, for Vixen. I was trying to think, but it's really hard to. What, what's in here? What we got in here? Some old ghoul guy? Yeah, some old ghoul guy. Um, bed of nails. Lots of these things. Huh. All right. Yeah. This this is well decorated for a prefab. Definitely, definitely got. Uh, look, just because you have a whole bunch of plushies on the ground, like that, that's okay for decorations. Actually, it really does fill up the room, don't it? Got a gorilla seat. They're all watching TV. Ooh, a nice little little change of pace. Right, open this door. All right, close this door. Is there anything up here? Restricted area. Pro photography is is prohibited. Uh, yeah, they definitely got a weird collection here of everything, even half-naked women. 
Okay. Not scary at all. Well, it looks like they do have everything that they... Like, everything's here. Everything looks nice. There's a lot of prefab usage, but at least they filled it up. I mean, you can't ask for anything more than that. Now, I remember seeing something over here. Ah, there we go. Dark Crawler X83's camp right here. I don't know. I really like this camp, even though it's full of prefabs. Look, you know I hate my prefab. I, I hate prefabs so much, but... Usually in camps like this where it's all walled up and they have they have a nice little courtyard, it actually helps in a, in a sense. So, yeah, definitely I want to go with the seven. Seven, maybe seven and a half. I mean, even though it's prefabs, I know, I understand. It looks nice, though. It actually looks nice. I don't know. You be the judge. But, uh. So far, we haven't seen any bad camps. So let's, let's see let's see where we go next. It's, it's, everything's at random. Everything's at random. I could, I could, like, like not stop recording right here. And just go to the next one. But I just want to save you from the loading screen. Alright. Saving you from the loading. Wow, I, I really do blend in with the environment. Oh, what do they have here? This doesn't look like a prefab. Not at all. All right, look. Let's take a look at the outside. We got like an undetonated bomb. What is that? Oh, it's one of these things. You know, you should put this on a pressure plate or something, and I have it just like always, constantly be on. What is this? An ant farm? God, those are big ass ants. This is slightly, slightly floaty, but uh, I'll forgive it for now. Let me get that uh, thing. All right. Oh, look at that. They, they uh, kind of don't want to forgive this, but at the same time, it looks like it fits in right through there. It looks like some evil stuff blowing out, but uh, they didn't turn it on for me. I had to turn it on myself. Got perks for the root cellar entrance. Oh man, putting these things, I, I guess that's a good place to put it, but not really. You can still get bombarded, because the bombardment would come over from there, hit over through there, and it might actually, ooh, what, what is this? Ooh, danger, danger, you know, that probably won't kill me, but it might. Oh, they got the little, little flowers, and they got the little... Thing right there, we're gonna ring this dinner bell. Oops, I rang I rang the Brahmin instead. And got some milk. Alright, let's let's go in here. Need some stuff right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Safety violation! We found a safety violation. You think I'm joking when I say this stuff? It's a safety violation. You could die. Like if you have small ch childs and stuff, that they'll die. But like most of the food has chemicals in it that pre prevent fertility. So the Cheerios, you eat the Cheerios, and you won't be able to have babies. And and if if you do manage to have a baby, for you women out there, it, it'll probably be premature. If it even grows at all. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely get that's a nice little porch area. Alien bench. Oh wait, is ah yes, it's the bathroom. Uh, yeah, it's nice and snowy out here too. Oh man, it is definitely snowing. Hey, let's take a look at the roof. Hey, let's not take a look at the roof. I can make it up there. I know I can. Let's see, I don't have anything, any drugs that'll help me get up there fully. It's cause it's cause I'm starving and hungry and. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, I can't get up there. That's just... <sighs> Why? I always thought I could. But, uh, I guess... Oh. Look at that. They even made it, made it kind of easy. Oh, jeez. Is it because I'm still thirsty? Why do I have so, so much candy? Oh, my God. I, I need... Drink. Drink. Pop oh my god, popcorn no. Oh, I should probably get rid of these. Alright. I I don't have any kind of drink. No like water. Just Nuka Cola. Alright, so we can at least see up here. Try to look for the thing that makes it makes it all snowy. Cause I just got that. Is it just snowy up here? Ooh, natural. Oh, who knows? It's, just, it's like a, a a finders keepers treaters or whatever. I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad camp. I'm just it's my ADHD is just taking full control of me. I don't know what to do. I'm just so frustrated. Like. People come and it's their first time watching the video or any video I've ever made and, they, and they're always like Yeah, but I bet his camps suck. He's such a hypocrite like I'm not raiding my own camps. I, I, I I've let you see my camps. I'm not raiding my own camps. It's just ridiculous. Why, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Just Why? Besides, I've shown my games. You just need to watch more videos. This, this is how it goes. I'm going to give this camp... Uh, I'm going to have to give it a 6. Uh, for safety violation. Other than that, it looks, it looks pretty good. Safety violation, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no, I'm just stuck stuck. Oh, okay. We're out. We're, we're, we're out of... Alright. It looks like we have found an interesting camp right here. I think this one belongs to WTF Guar. Uh, he's been featured in, in the uh, camp series lately. Um, he, he's the one that raided my camp, by the way. And he raided like a 6 or something, which is alright. Because it wasn't done. Anyways. Um, this is a floating camp, uh, as designed to be a floater, a big, big floater in, in the middle of floaty floating town, all the way up here, a glitchy floaty camp, and, oh gosh, oh, I don't, I don't know what just happened right there, what, what? What was that? Alright. Come closer, little boy, and I'll show you. What? No, let me let me in here. Um see what grandma is cooking for you. Oh, well, hold on. Alright, here we go. Yeah, so step into Ooh. grandma's house. It's probably one of those irradiated hot tubs. Ooh, this is pretty nice. I mean, sort of. Wait a minute. There, there was a, already a thing going up. Why is there two things going up? I see you. I see Surprise. you. I see you. Hi. Hi. You found grandma. I found grandma. This is WTF Guar's camp. Um, this is mostly just a trap camp, though, but it does have everything you need, so a base score of four. And, uh... Your mom is a four. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh, n nothing happened. There, there you go. Uh, I don't know. There we go. It's about time. 
Now, so now you... grandma's very slow, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's quite all right. At least it, it, it eventually killed me. Um, I, I guess for this interesting trap camp, we're gonna go ahead and give it a seven. But it should be a ten. There is a lot of punnies right there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Guar. You have a great day. Okay, come back for sexy time any day. Oh, sure thing. <laughs> Grandma loves to get spry. <laughs> you might hurt your hornets. Never. <laughs> Till next time. Well, it's not very often that I walk around with a wanted level, but uh, another player's taking my drop loot. Well, that happens uh, when, you, when you run around and do trap camp things. But, uh, I'm not sad because usually I like to, like, give them a little reward. I think I was carrying a bunch of fertilizer with me, so a lot of poopy do. Um, I need somebody to take away my wanted, and then I can keep doing camps. But, uh, Be very quiet, we are hunting wolf breeds. Oh, thank God. Got had nothing to do with it, my friend. <laughs> oh shit! You're yeah, hard to kill. Yeah, I'm. I'm quite. I'm, <laughs> I'm quite a little bit hard to kill when I'm standing still. Easy to love and hard to kill. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God you showed up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that is so funny. <laughs> where's the camp that I have not done from you? Uh, it's one that is up right now. It's a new gad. All right, new gad. Southern, all right. Southern end. Yeah, man. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm going to warp right over there. We're still recording. Right. Uh, uh, new gad right is uh, all right. I'm, yeah, I'm the lake. Right I'm lake he, yeah, I'm heading there now. I kind of, right, I kind of had to like brain fart it up, but then I remembered. Yeah, that's all right. I know, I know. I'm sixty fucking two years old. Man. Oh, excuse my language. <laughs> ah, you're fine. It, we're we're late in the video. <laughs> all right, new gad should be right over here. I guess we'll, we'll 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 keep this little motif right here because we're dealing with Sean Robert Moore's camp. Let's see. Uh, that might be it. Oh yeah, this is this is quite this is warp over there. Ah, so good. They're so happy he showed up. That was completely random. Like, he just showed up and it's like... <laughs> it's completely random. I love it. All right. Let's, ooh, this looks like... All right, so we're going with the theme camp here, right? This the is... Millennium. Millennium Falcon, right? Millennial. Millennial Falcon. <laughs> yeah. All right, this, this is going to... We're going to have to look... At it from a distance. Oh, you should see my thrusters. You're around, around pack. <laughs> uh, oh god, a bunch of Corvegas. Okay. <laughs> Alright, where should I enter from? Uh, uh, the front landing gear is the uh, entrance. All right. There you go. We'll go up through here. Forgive my roommate. She's still floating in space. So you got guns right here? Yeah. All right. Oh, you noticed, too, actually. How many do? All right. Well, I'm going to do some maintenance while you uh, do what you're going to do. All right. I take that. I've just found the cock cockpit. Can you say that on YouTube? The cock. Cot, cockpit. <laughs> cockpit. <laughs> I, I just said it. Fairly, you can. Very fair enough. <laughs> well, I can say whatever I want. Whether or yeah, not they, they agree with it is another matter. <laughs> oh my God! You even got a bathroom and a shower and a laundry room set up. Hey. It's very tight in here. Yeah, I'm, uh, I I get a little hairy on occasion, but I have no boat. Mm -hmm. Or anyway, man. I've I've had the best day ever today. Did you find? Did what happened? 
Uh, I just went downtown and I went to my old pub that I used to own and uh, hung out with some of the owners and watched uh, uh, England versus Ireland in rugby with a couple of people from England and Ireland and it was quite a bit of fun. I... That does sound like quite a bit of fun. Yeah, it was, it was very much. Very, very much. Not a rugby fan, although I have had uh, the occasional despite with rugby player. Is it rugby like British football? Uh, football is like American rugby, actually. Okay. I want to be truthful about it. Yeah, it's like football with no pads and fewer rules. It's like smeared. <laughs> Play smeared. Whoa, 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 well, YouTube, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, thanks a lot. I mean, That's $5. Never played that when you were a kid. Wait, which? Well, I'm not gonna say it again. I'm yeah, I, I'm, I'm, well, if you if you can't say it again, then I'm thinking no, I haven't played that when I was a kid or an adult for that matter. Yeah. It was like football with no <laughs> rules. Whoever had the ball got tackled the shit out of. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Oh okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Our, our our both our minds went to a dirty place apparently. Yeah. <laughs> all right i gotta jump down okay here we go oh uh, i mean it it is it is a themed creation so i mean hell why, is, why does it, this camp make me want to go <laughs> i just think everything makes you want to do that because <laughs> this is literally DNA. called the the millennial falcon yeah <laughs> I'm actually a Gen X or a boomer. Apparently, I'm kind of like in. But, you know, boomer falcon just doesn't make any freaking sense at all. So. Nah, actually, actually, yeah, let's go. Boomer fa falcon, let's let's do this. <laughs> boomer falcon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, for the theme, and, I mean, this it's is pretty nice. Kind of, kind, kind of wanted it to be a little bit bigger, but kind of, it's kind of fine where it is. Because whenever it's a little bit more kind of compact, you, you you really use what you gotta use to. I'm at max here, so like I yeah. I can't fart or I crash, so. Okay. Really. Yeah. In that case, yeah. yeah. And I got a death claw for a pet. His name is Muddy. I'm I'm gonna give this an eight. I'm okay with that. You're okay with that? <laughs> what am I? No. Curse you. Well, I'll give you I'll give you an eight and a half because you got rid of my wanted level. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta edit I gotta do some light editing. I'm gonna take that. So let, let's take a look at your gun though. Oh jeez. Let's <laughs> look at my gun. Private thing. What the fuck? I'm trying to make a a, a, a what am I trying to make here? The, uh, biscuits. A ski sword. No, a ski sword. What the hell? Why are you making a ski sword? Well, because you got to sell one to an NPC. Except I don't think I can make. Somebody's one. lighting oh, something yes, up. Yeah. Oh. Well, I had a comp. Oh, I must have scrapped the damn thing. Oh, never mind. That's what happened. Anyway. Yeah. Good day. I think, I think Big Jim's over there lighting something up. Alright, this this has been the video for the day. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, make some comments down below. Remember, I go and rate every camp that I come to first. And if somebody actually walks up on me and wants their camp rated, then I'll go rate their camp. And this is how that works. So. And no favorites. Yeah, I don't play favorites. I, 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 I give the ratings. I, I just, whatever I think the ratings are, based off of my weird criteria. I, I, I wanted to go through the criteria with you guys, but it's just too complicated. I, even I don't understand it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll cry myself to sleep later on. What? Well, seven, seven and a half, eight? It's not that bad. No, it's not. No, it's not. I, I, I just like crying myself to sleep. That's all. Nothing to do with you. <laughs> 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 Alright guys Until next time